Hello everyone, this is another episode of Dorothy Chia Piano and you're watching my vlog, Life of a Piano Teacher. So today I'm going to talk about teaching students the process of reading their music. I had a revelation today when I had a transfer student who did not know that he has to read the music on the page. And um, it took a whole month of teaching this transfer student that spent a whole year learning piano from another place. And when he came here, I realized he did not know how to read. So I started him practically all the way from the beginning. And um, I was quite alarmed that when we did a new piece, he wasn't able to transfer the concepts from the previous chapter to the new chapter. He was always waiting for the teacher to show him. And uh, I realized that he wasn't reading. So did you know that as a piano teacher, you have to teach your students how to read? All right, very often piano teachers have the impression that when we teach the student a new piece of music, we show them, we guide them, and then we teach them note by note, right hand and left hand, and then how the music sounds, and then how to put it together. Yes, at the initial stage, that is how you go about doing it. But you must make sure that the end step, yeah, the end goal, is that that student must know how to read the notes off the page themselves. And I use apps and I do a lot of sight reading in the lesson. I use flashcards and I make sure that every lesson the reading is reinforced. Okay, so um, somehow this student had the mindset that um, I just listen to what the teacher play. I memorize that sound and then yes I'm staring at the book but I didn't know that the notes on the page are, are symbolizing a sound that can help me decipher when I learn this language of music that I am using these symbols and making sense of pitch notation and rhythmic notation and maintaining a steady pulse and put it all together I can make out the music on the page and then listen to the end result which is the music that I am playing. Um, it's a step-by-step -step process and I love working with beginners and beginners uh, I usually find that it's like a blank piece of paper and you really teach them how to go and colour up that page and build beautiful pictures uh, with their crayons. And that is the end goal of learning music. Hopefully one day when they're not having piano lesson anymore, they can continue to make beautiful music by deciphering music out of the page themselves. So uh, teachers, don't forget that is your goal. Help your students to be a literate musician. Until the next week, bye-bye.